Hey everybody. Tonight I wanted to post up a little video kind of explaining the difference between the flattened PVC and the full round PVC pipe post. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions from people asking, you know, what's the difference? Are there any advantages to flattening the PVC pipe bow? I've had a lot of people telling me that you shouldn't flatten it because it makes the pipe weaker, it makes the bow weaker. You know, I've been getting all sorts of comments, so I just wanted to do a little video tonight that just kind of goes over these different things and addresses them. So, what I went and did is I made two bows. I, bow I started both bows off with 48 inch schedule, oh, so 3 quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe, and I cut each one to 48 inches in length. So, here's the first one, and as you can see, it's just a PVC pipe. That's it. Left full round. No bends, no heating, nothing. I cut knocks into the ends, one on each side. The knocks are half an inch from that. And then I went ahead and took another pipe, the same type of pipe, 3 quarter inch schedule 40 cut it to 48 inches long, and then I went ahead and I flattened the limbs. I also went ahead and flattened the handle a little bit to make it thicker. So this is basically what a flattened PVC pipe bow is, without any recurves, without any bending. So just flatten as straight as I could get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to string both these bows up right now, and I'm going to show you the differences between the two right off the bat, just with stringing. All right, so we're going to string these up. So first, I'm going to string up the plain pipe. on the side and I'm going to string the other bow up. Alright, now this bow is strung out. So, one of the things I want to show you is when you have both of these bows, Hold them next to each other. Right, if I can line this up right. What you're going to see is the straight PVC pipe bends mainly right here in the handle. And if you can see this other bow, if you can see right here, the handle is actually straight. There's no bend in it at all. And then if you look, most of the bend actually happens right after and then start it starts tapering off at the ends here. So what that means is that this pipe, or this bow, is bending pretty much right in the center here. You know, this is where most of the bend is. This bow has its flex distributed a little further out. Now, the main reason behind this is because, as some people have said, a completely round pipe is very strong. Now, the strength is great. But what it does is, because the round sh this round shape is very strong, this bow is equally strong in the handle, in the middle of the limb, and at the tip. And what that means for a bow is it's like trying to take a perfectly uniform stick 
put a string on it, and try to use it like a bow. Almost any wood done up that way would break. PVC, however, is flexible and elastic enough to handle that. Now, when you flatten the PVC, you end up weakening it. Now, when you first hear that, you may think, well, why would I want to weaken the pipe? But what you're doing is, by weakening it, weakening it here, and then weakening it even more at the tips, what you're effectively doing is allowing the bow to bend less in the center and more as it goes out. And the reason why that happens is because if it's weak out here, there's less pressure on this part of the bow. What that means for this type of bow is that the part that's under the most strain is right here in the handle. With a bow like this, the part under the most strain would be this area on the top and this area on the bottom of the limb. That means that while this is stronger, you know, it has full round and it's very strong. When you draw this back, almost all of the pressure is within this small area. The chances of this breaking is a lot higher. And if it ever did break, most likely your hand is going to be right here where it breaks. Now, this bow, because most of your flex is happening over here, that means most of your pressure is here. Most of the, when you flex this bow, most of the pressure is in this section over here, these sections. That means if this bow were to ever break, it would not only break away from your hand, but it could only break on either of these two sides, which means you already cut in half your your risk, so to speak. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh these up, and we'll get to see how a 48 inch, a 48 inch long, three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe, how much it'll pull at 28 inch draw, with a straight pipe, and with a flattened, a taper flattened bow. So, let's do that.